What's up guys? This is T doing a little mukbang here just to give y'all something a little different. Got my coke right here even though this is no paid advertisement but because this is my favorite drink. And I got me some leftover Domino's pizza and some chicken wings and I just wanted to kind of have a conversation with you guys over my food and everything. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful evening. And all, and um, just wanted to come in here and have a conversation. You know, once again, <laughs> it's always something all the time. You know? First, let me say my grace. Thank you, Lord, for this food. Bless you for the nourishment of my body. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. But thank you. Anyone, come to you guys. Just want to say, you know. Sometimes we have to have a talk with our kids sometimes because they don't even understand. Like, being a parent, it's, it's not an easy job. And it really don't come like with a manual, even though we can't go back to the, to the way that God speaks in the Word. And we teach our kids, so maybe that is the manual. But for Raising kids and for them sometimes to be able to understand because of the things that they got to deal with and go through in this world. Mm, our crust is so good. You know, they get caught up with their little friends. They get caught up with the time, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes it is, it's just not easy being a parent. Every day, you know. We have to remind our kids, rep, kids, repetition, repetition is always good. However, sometimes you don't even want to keep saying the same thing. So, you know, for me, I like to have conversation with my kids. I like to communicate because effective communication makes everything most of the time works out better. When, when the communication is out of whack, when there is no communication, trust me, everything is going crazy. Now, once I communicate something with you, you know what I'm saying? I'm expecting you to get it. One time, two times, you know, okay. We all learning. But after about that third time, I done got tired of talking to you. So you already know what time it is. So, for all y'all parents out there. That, you know, for the most part, trying to teach their kids and teaching their kids the right way and, and helping them, you know, to grow up in this world. This world can be mean. They have no idea. I tell my kids, look at some of the news stuff. Not that I want to be caught up in the news and all that, but I got sons. And guess what? What you see happening on the news with other people's children, other people's sons, even their daughters too. You know what I'm saying? It just is, and sometimes, and a lot of times, it don't mean be the fault of the children. Sometimes it just be a situation that happens. Sometimes certain things, things happen so fast. Like, before you know it, you in something. Before you can even blink your eye. That's how fast you can be in something. So, I'm always warning my kids, y'all. When I speak and I tell you something, move on now. Faith ain't, oh, oh, I'm coming, oh, okay, oh, well, it's right now. Faith is now. If I'm telling you to do something now, that means now. You know what I'm saying? Don't be telling me, oh, like, I got to wait and I got to do something. And especially if it's something that's got something to do with your life. And make your life better and, you know, to keep you out of trouble, to help you, hopefully stop you from any bad accidents or anything. You know, they don't understand that piece. The only thing they know is they get caught up playing with their friends and, and even though they're right outside, right outside the house. But anything will happen. And I'm not speaking anything, no, I'm not being negative, I'm not being negative, I'm not doing none of that. I'm just saying, yo, listening goes a long way. And then not only listening, but carrying out what somebody asks you to do, what somebody asks you to do. 
okay? A lot of times it's going to help you in the long run. It can be something so small you think it don't mean nothing. But some of the small things means some of the biggest things in the world. You know what I mean? A mustard seed. That's the smallest seed of all the seeds. But it grows the biggest harvest. Remember that. And so guess what? If you sow the seed, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you can say whatever. And I guarantee you, you're going to have a big harvest. So for all you parents out there that's teaching your kids, continue to teach your kids, continue to be hard on them, even if they don't understand sometimes, you might have got to get at them a little bit. But yo, know and trust that. Spoil the raw, spare the child. Sometimes it, it get to that point. Because guess what? If you don't save your kids, the world.